Dozens of Polk County Sheriff's deputies were searching for a murder suspect Saturday morning for nearly two hours using canines and drones to help track the suspect down. Let me introduce you to a suspect. His name is Sean Runyon. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says Runyon was in town with his co-workers who work for an electrical company based in Pennsylvania. They were on a job at the public's headquarters in Lakeland. Now, early Friday morning, Sheriff Judd says Runyon got mad while at work, punched his supervisor in the face, then stormed out. Then Saturday morning, Sheriff Judd says Runyon returned to the home where he and his co-workers and their families were staying at a vacation home in a neighborhood near US-27 in Sand Mine Road in Davenport. We received a 911 call about a murder. He's murdered someone. And what we found out was Sean returned to the neighborhood, went into the house with a baseball bat and a knife. And he stabbed and beat people inside the residence. Sheriff Judd says one of the victims was beaten to death while he was sleeping. Another victim was found dead on the front porch of the home. Sheriff Judd says a third victim who was badly beaten died in the hospital. There were four others, as I said, beside the two that's currently deceased and the one that's going to die as a result of this horrific act. He chases a fourth victim into the street and struck him in the shoulder in the back area with this baseball bat that he had beaten the others with. Fortunately, another man, his wife, and a seven-year-old girl were able to escape without being harmed. Sheriff Judd says Runyon took off and deputies looked for him for nearly two hours. He says Runyon showed up to a neighborhood in Lake Wales, asked for help, and when neighbors saw his bloody clothes, they told him to go to the hospital. Runyon did, and that's how Polk County Sheriff's deputies and Lake Wales police officers found him. They took him into custody. Sheriff Grady Judd says the community is safe tonight because Runyon is behind bars. Reporting in Davenport, Justin Matthews, Fox 13 News.